Number 10. Number 10 is a boss scene demo created by Devmar, and if you frequent the Gato subreddit, you may have been following their progress already. The standouts here are the epic scale of the fight, the great atmosphere of the scene, and even the attention to detail in the audio. Devmar has demonstrated a number of high quality 3D features in other work, including particle grass spawning and post processing effects. You can follow more of their work on their YouTube channel. Number 9. Dreadlocks Dude recently published an excellent tutorial article on shaders in Gato and the power of curves. It is a meaty article with lots of great examples, visual supports, and helpful information for anyone jumping into coding their own shaders. All the code used is available on their GitHub repo, and we look forward to more tutorials in the future. Number 8. Essentures is inspired by the great games of the 90s and 80s, but with modern gaming quality of life improvements. Experience a grand adventure through four kingdoms where you find and catch mysterious creatures to have as allies and weapons. With a mix of action and turn-based RPG combat and over 250 creatures, the real draw is the nostalgic handheld UI and graphic style. You can wishlist it on Steam. Number 7 I'm a 90s kid, and I grew up with Super Mario 64, and there's just something about how Nintendo revolutionized 3D player movement. It's also really cool to be able to import that same character into a Gato project. SkyOwn8100 recently did just that by integrating the lib SM64 by using GD extension. Just don't go thinking of making a Mario game, because you need a Mario 64 ROM for it to work, and Nintendo will probably cease and desist your app. This week is sponsored by Gato XC, the Gato Engine Asset Exchange. Gato XC is a third-party asset marketplace dedicated to Gato and it's launching on August 18, 2023. You can head to Gato XC right now to sign up for the pre-launch or use the registration link in the description if you want to become a creator and sell your own assets on the site. Number six. Quillscape is a minimalist writing application designed not to make writing easier, but to make it easier to sit down and write. Customize each aspect to your preference. Utilize lighting and sound tools to create the perfect, cozy environment, and rely on a suite of tools intended to support your writing process. Quillscape also leverages the Steam API to provide cross-platform cloud saves for your files and offer a familiar achievement system as you reach your writing goals. Number 5. The 20th best overall entry in the GMTK Game Jam 2023 Ragdoll is just like any classic Ragdoll style 2D golf game, except you are the ball. Well, you're not the actual ball, you just, you're the one that has to go in the hole. Swing your club like Happy Gilmore to send yourself flying towards the pin. You can play for free on itch.io. Number four. Travel to the sleepy village of Catterwall Way and rebuild your grandmother's cat cafe. Renovate your restaurant, befriend the local cats and townsfolk, forge lasting friendships, unravel catty mysteries, and build a home for dozens of unique felines. The life of a cat cafe manager awaits as you manage your staff and create custom dishes for your cat customer needs. You can play Cat Cafe Manager right now on Steam. Number 3 Ever yearn to return to the magic of the first time you played an arcade RPG like Gauntlet 2 or Golden Axe? Well, it's time to gather your party of expendable heroes and climb a vast tower atop a shield. Who will fight? Who will heal? Who will laser around and take all the treasure? The choice is yours alone. But only those who work together will reach the top of the tower shield. Number 2 Far Away Proximity is a third-person puzzle game about recovering lost books. In this side of the universe, books go missing all the time, and owners are, usually, forbidden to retrieve them. You are a famous book seeker that has been contacted to recover another set of misplaced books. Find them by solving different types of challenges and uncover more puzzles by reading their stories. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, I Overscoped, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. Kanido Pet is a psychological horror experience that takes place through Kanido, an early 2000s virtual assistant. Kanido is able to walk, talk, browse, adapt, and play games, as Kanido is like no other with its adaptive technology. But Kanido is hiding a dark secret. I mean, is a friend you'll never forget. A friend that you must stop at all costs. 
you can wishlist Kinito Pet on Steam. So which number this week was your favorite? Vote down below in the comments, and for more indie games and projects, you can check out another episode of This Week in Gato.